In previous videos, we looked at a program called Sear for Windows, a program that adds preview functionality to Windows, much like macOS. In this video, we'll be checking out Quick Look for Windows, a program much similar to Sear, but I think it's even better. Let's start by downloading Quick Look. Links will be in the description below. Here's the GitHub page. I'll go down to Releases and get the latest version for Windows here, the MSI, and download. Once this is downloaded, we go ahead and install. I'm also going to download the font in Microsoft Office plugins. And you can get to the plugins by going back to the GitHub repository. And there should be a link here called plugins. And you'll get to this page. Now, what these plugins will do is add additional preview functionality to Quick Look. And I want the font viewer, so that's this one. I'll go to it and download the plugin. I'm also going to download the Office preview. Now, I don't have Office installed on this computer, so I'm going to have to get the one that says View Office Formats without installing Microsoft Office. If you have Office on your computer, you're going to need to download this one. Uh, I'm going to click the link and get that plug in. This will allow us to preview Office documents. Now that Quick Look is installed, I have a folder full of files we can preview called Files. And here we have a whole bunch of files. And to preview a file, simply click it and press the space bar. So I'll click this image, hit the space bar, and this is our preview. Um, here is a, let's see, a document, this example doc. Now, we don't have the plugin installed yet. We're going to install the plugin in a few, but I just want you to see how this works. So if we click this video file, press the space bar, the video will start to play in a preview. As you can see, we can preview these files without actually having to open them. This works with many files, including text documents, most images, audio files, video files, PDFs, Adobe files. And one thing I love is previewing zip files like this. You can browse the zip files without even clicking through it. Very handy stuff. You get a tree browser here and you can see all the stuff in the zip file without clicking around. That's one something I really like. And I have an audio file. I want you to notice something. When you preview a file, or oh, this is a video file, notice how you have these controls when you're previewing an audio or video file. You have some controls depending on the type of file you're looking at. In this case, we have a video file, so we get controls for seeking, volume, we can pause and play and we can loop we can also pin the uh, preview window so that it doesn't go away when we click out we can have it stay on top of other windows we can open it in our main player 
or open the widget, we can also share. This brings up the Windows Share. And we can go full screen. Now let's install those plugins. To install a quick look plugin, simply select the plugin. So in this case, I'll go to my documents or downloads. And just like you would do when you preview an image, you just hit the space bar. And I'm going to do that for the font plugin. And it brings up this window. And you can see it says click here to install this plugin. We click it and we're good to go. Now I will do the same thing with the office viewer. Press the space bar, click install. And we're good to go. Now I'll go back to my files. But before we do that, we're going to need to exit out of Quick Look and open it back up. Get it going. And now when we look at this font, it actually shows us the font. And when we click on this document, we can actually see what's in this document. Really nice. Oh, and there goes that audio file I was looking for. So yeah, when you play something like a video or audio file, if you have album artwork, you'll see that displayed here. And just like the video file, you have all these controls when you play audio. And this supports many different types of audio formats as well. Now down here, you right click. You don't have many options here. You just have check for updates, find new plugins, and the option to run at startup. But then that's all you really need. It's a very lightweight, simple program that adds really in my opinion that should be standard on any operating system the ability to preview a file with just a simple click of a button so that's quick look for windows 10 another preview program that i've discovered and have been using for a few weeks now pretty neat